Hey friends, Allison here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a new traveler's notebook spread. There's no design process for this video, just the scrapbook process today. Here is a shot of the scrap papers that I started with when I began creating. The yellow paper in the traveler's notebook was also scraps as well. And then the shot just before that, I was showing you what was left of the scrap papers that I used in my crafty process today. I always love using up my scraps first and creating traveler's notebooks for me is a fantastic way to get them used up. So even though I only used one or killed one piece of scrap cardstock today, I feel pretty good that um, I am making a dent in my scraps. So I did cut some elements with my Cricut for this page. That is the scallop circle that I'm putting together right now. The center portion that I just glued to the scallop circle says Cricut. And I'm going to stamp the subtitle underneath it that is going to say Mad Love. If you followed me for a while, you know how much I love using my Cricut and how Cricut centered all of my projects are and I thought that I would share that story in layout form. So this is the traveler's notebook version. I do have a 12 by 12 version coming up soon as well so stick around for that. It'll be on my channel here very soon. I'm also putting together a Cricut die cut. If you search Cricut in Cricut Design Space a lot of images come up and they are all so cute. I had a hard time weeding through them to figure out which one or ones I actually wanted to use in this um, scrapbook layout, traveler's notebook layout. Um, that's why I also did a 12 by 12 because there were a couple images that I wanted to use in this layout that just wouldn't work. So I decided to make a companion page in 12 by 12 size and use those there. <laughs> so uh, yes, stick around for that. This little Cricut is so adorable. I decided to keep my color scheme um, just with these colors, the pink, green and white. Oh, and yellow but by the time I get to the second page and I start adhering enamel dots which you'll see a little later in the video um, I don't have green enamel dots I thought I did but I don't know what happened to them so anyways instead of using green enamel dots I swapped that out for blue so I do end up pulling some blue into this spread just in the enamel dots and I used a mixture of pink fresh and doodlebug enamel dots. So like I said, that'll be coming um, shortly. If you notice on the right hand page, there is a tiny little circle or dot that looks white. Um, that was actually from a previous project <laughs> that I used to cut something out with my Cricut. And I did, did trim the paper down to the right size, but that little dot was left behind. I'm not concerned about that because on that page I'm going to have my photo and my journaling and I'm going to cut down another scrap piece of paper which is white cardstock that has some yellow misting on it. That's going to cover up that little circle. I thought that I would add a little bit of bling to the heart and the little crickets and tenny. Um, so I used a clear shimmer brush from Close to My Heart to add some sparkle. I did think about adding it to the scallop portion of the circle as well, but I decided against it. Here are the enamel dots that I mentioned just a few minutes ago. So I am using pink and there's the blue instead of the green. And like I said, they're from Pink Fresh Studio. And then these enamel dots here are Doodlebug. Here is the white cardstock that I just mentioned a moment ago as well. Uh, I trimmed it down to about four by eight inches. The yellow cardstock that's in the background is four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Roughly, I trimmed them down just a hair smaller than that so that when I close the book, it clears uh, the seam, basically. So if you see white peeking out um, along the center of the spread, that would be why. 
there is my photo. It's a picture of my Cricut in action. It was printed at two by two inches. I'm adding a few more enamel dots just to the bottom. Oh, and a sticker from Pink Fresh as well. That's a puffer stick, puffy sticker from, I can't remember what collection, but I will link it down in the description box below. Um, I'm not sure. I will double check and see if Scrapbook Nerd has any more of this collection left. If they don't, though, I know they do carry Pink Fresh. So if you want to stock up or need to stock up on your Pink Fresh, definitely hit up the Scrapbook Nerd shop. I printed my journaling on my computer. I'm just trimming it down so that it is the same size as the white um, mat on the right hand side of the page. And that brings me to the end of this spread. I do have close-ups coming up, so be sure to stick around for that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and a like. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy Cricut projects and want to see more Cricut inspiration, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you can customize your notifications. That way you will be told every time I post a new video to this channel. Here's just a quick flip through of everything I've done so far in my traveler's notebook and the close-ups. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I hope you have a fantastic week and I will be back again soon with more creative inspiration. Bye friends.